Thanks for clicking on this video. If you don't know who I am, my name is Ebeth and I make YouTube videos that are lifestyle videos. They're all about being creative and being a Christian because that's what I do, that's who I be, that's what I are. Ay. I apologize in advance. These glasses in particular are super glary and I got a ring light, I got windows, I got a camera, I got a television, I got lights. So you just might not see my eyeballs too much in this video. I was thinking about the month of February and I was really disappointed in it, if I'm gonna be 100% honest. I kind of feel like I wasn't very focused this month and I failed a lot in my personal life, in my professional life. It just was messy. It was a messy month. I didn't enjoy it. I felt like it was a drag and I felt like it was a waste of time. And I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer. I am keeping it real with you. But at the same time, like I'm not okay with feeling like that. Like I, I, I wanted to reflect and think, why do I feel like that about this month? What did I do or not do which caused the mess to happen? And as I was thinking about it, I realized that I did not have a plan for the month of February. I did not have any goals. I didn't have any visions or aspirations. I was literally just riding along the waves of life, <laughs> taking things as they came and just going with the flow. While being flexible and going with the flow is a super great quality to have, it's also really important to be focused and have a vision and have goals in order to actually be successful and feel like you've accomplished something. And as I was reflecting on January and February, they were so different. January was a month full of highs in my life. and in, in every area of my life, January was just like super highs and then February was just kind of like, uh, I'd call it a low month. I really would call it a low month. It wasn't terrible, it was just not full of highs. <laughs> now, I don't want the rest of my year to be like that, where one month is great and one month is terrible and one month is great and one month is miserable. Like, I don't want to live my life like that. And I feel like, yes, there are highs and lows in life in general, but if we're focused, if we have goals, if we have visions, and if we're working hard towards something, then we at least can steer life in the right direction and still go with the flow when something happens that we need to adjust to. So with all that being said, I figured out that I need to set goals for myself on a monthly basis, for my personal life, my professional life, like all of the above. I need to have goals for myself and I need to keep that in mind. I need to track that and I need to keep myself accountable. And the way I'm keeping myself accountable is telling the world the goals that I have for myself. My first goal for the month of March is a little ridiculous because this is one of the ways that I failed in the month of February and I am very ashamed of it. I'm going to cook at least four nights a week and meal prep for lunch four days a week because I don't remember ever cooking in the month of February. I think I made two cheese quesadillas and I'm not okay with that. I'm actually really embarrassed to admit that. So pray for me that I stay faithful to that because it is so easy for me to get lazy in the kitchen. Ah, I hate to say it, but my goal is to keep my car clean <laughs> because my car is in such a disaster right now. The trunk is full of God knows what. And the back seat probably has an entire wardrobe in it. Let's not talk about how many Starbucks cups are in the front seat. Do you guys believe in me? If you think I can do it, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> so the third goal I am a little bit ashamed about as well. Actually, I'm ashamed about all of these because we've already went over that. Okay, the third goal is to start exercising again because I have not, I don't think I can even touch my toes anymore, guys. I'm gonna start exercising again this month and I'm gonna start with stretches just to gain some flexibility back and then I will take baby steps. I'm not trying to be a CrossFit master here. I just, I just wanna be strong and I wanna be able to touch my toes. My next goal is to be a better friend to my friends. It's so easy to get caught up in life and just our agendas and to-do lists and kind of neglect our friends. Not only that, but I feel like social media can really easily be a cop-out to connecting with your friends. Like I feel like I'm connecting with my friends when I like their pictures or watch their Insta stories and send them a DM. When in all reality, I'm not connecting with my friends that way. I need to pick up the phone, I need to call them, I need to text them and be more personable and more, I guess, aggressive about my friendships. I don't know if aggressive is the right word, but that's just 
I feel like I need to be more aggressive with my relationships and my friendships. I want to be a good friend to my friends and I want to make sure that they know that I care about them and that I want to be in their lives, not just a part of their life, but like I want to be in their lives and I want them to be in my life. Um, I can remember when Angela and I first got married, it was a hard time for me, for friends. It was a very hard time for me because we had just moved back to Michigan. I had some friends, but most of my friends were in a completely different stage of life. Most of Angelo's friends knew him years before and they didn't really know me. They like had a perception of who I was. So it was kind of hard for me to find friends. And I remember praying and crying like, God, I want me and Angelo to have awesome, godly couple friends that we can live life with. I want to one day have children and I want to be able and comfortable with my friends watching my children and me watching their children and I want to bring my friends dinner and I want my friends to come over for dinner. Like I want to live life with people that I care about and that I love and I just felt like that was never going to happen um, with the time and the place and all of that. So basically what I'm saying is right now Angelo and I are so, so blessed to have a number of amazing couple friends that I trust, that I know will pray for me, that I know will be honest with me, and that I get along with, and that I can have fun with. And I wanna be a better friend to them because I want them to know that they are a blessing in my life, and I wanna be a blessing in their life. Just as much as I want them to be a good friend to me, I want to be a good friend to them. And I know that means that I need to be more aware and make more time for my friendships. Okay, whew, got a little emotional on that one. And my last goal for this month is to start waking up early again so I can truly get my good devotional time in with the Lord. I used to wake up early all the time and I scheduled in my devotional time where I wasn't just praying and I wasn't just worshiping and honoring God, giving God my day. I was opening the word and really digging into the word. And I have lost that time, mostly because I stopped waking up early. My schedule changed, my work schedule changed, and I just was sleeping half of the day, which I'm not okay with because I realized that this is one of the major reasons why I felt like the way I did about the month of February. I wasn't getting my butt out of bed to go get my day started and to spend time in the Word of God, to grow my spirit and to nurture my mind and renew my mind with the Word in order to remain focused. So those are my goals for the month of March. If you guys don't have any goals set, I wanna encourage you to set some goals and comment down below what is one of your goals for the month of March. Let's keep each other accountable. Let's keep each other encouraged. We fall down, but we get up. Come on, a saint is just a sinner who fell down and got up. Hey. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're not subscribed to this channel, get your life and subscribe. And if you liked it, let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. If you're a hater, you already know, give it a thumbs down. Until next time, stay awesome, be you, and keep loving Jesus. Boo. Bye.